the Clannacilty Clover Research Trial in West Cork, was set up in 2013 and is comparing four groups of 30 cows each that are grazing the 110 acre farm, which has been reseeded with tetraploid and diploid only grasses or with a mix of tetraploid and diploid grasses with clover. The first of the four groups of cows we see have yellow neck bands and are grazing tetraploid only swords. They are milking about 15 litres, which is not bad, 1.4 kilos of milk solids for early September, but is 3.5 litres less per cow than the cows you will see next that are grazing tetraploid grasses and clover. The tetraploid grass varieties are Aston Energy, Kintyre, Dunluce and Twimax. This group of cows with red neck bands are grazing a mix of tetraploid and clover swords and they are milking 1.7 kilos of milk solids per day. Since they calved in early February, they have produced over 35 kilos more milk solids per cow than the last group of cows we saw grazing grass-only swords. You can see at this time of the year the sward is 60% clover and remember the only difference here is 2 kilos of clover seed per acre was sown with the tetraploid grass when the paddock was reseeded. So now we have seen the cows grazing the tetraploid grass only group and the tetraploid with clover group. The third group of 30 cows with blue neck bands are grazing diploid only grasses. The varieties are Torella, Drumbo, Aberchoice and Glenvae. Similar to the cows on tetraploid grasses, they are milking much less than their comrades that have access to clover with the grass, around 1.4 kilos of milk solids. Like all groups, they graze down to between 3 and 4 centimetres, leaving very little grass in the paddock when they are finished grazing. This fourth group, with white neckbands, are grazing a diploid grass and clover mix. They are milking about 3.5 litres more per cow this per day this week than the last group of cows we saw. And again, the only difference is 2 kilos of clover seed per acre was used at sowing with the grass. Again, the clover grass paddocks are grazed out completely by each group. There are no stock coming behind to clean up the paddocks. The milking cows do the full job. With covers of clover like this in August and September, it will be interesting to come back to these paddocks later in the autumn and again next spring to see what's available for grazing. This is a long-term trial set to run for at least five years.